Hey guys, the air conditioner here because why not? And look at that beautiful sunset or sunrise. I think it's a sunset. I don't know. Well, whatever. But yeah, basically, what we're gonna go do is we're gonna jump right into this quite literally. Eh. And we're gonna go straight up and find that, uh, what's it called? Underwater volcano or something. Which should be right over here, if I'm correct. And more or less, we'll probably vaporize within seconds. So that should be pretty cool. So yeah, I put the, uh, what's it called? That thingamabobber, the little floating or swimming helper device in that little crate we have over there because, you know, I don't want to really lose that because that was, you know, not that easy to make. And what is this over here? Stasis rifle? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Definitely gotta check that out at some point. Hmm. Alright, I'm... Wait, I'm hearing, like, something. It might be in here, actually. Because it's shaking. Alright, yeah, there's definitely something in here, or whatever. Alright, so let's just get some more oxygen, and then we'll go back down. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we gotta find ourselves a ki- Oh, wow, these things actually light up at night? Alright, so that confirms it. That was sunset. But yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. They actually glow. I like that. Oh, wow, that's actually creepy yet cool at night. I like it. Mmm. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, we got these weird je- Ow! Okay, those are like jellyfish or something. Ow! Okay. Alright, so this is like a- Nope, nope, nope. Let's not go in there. As pretty as it is, let's just- Yeah, let's stay away from that. What are you? What are you? Hello? Oh, God! Oh, God! Get back! Ah! Oh, God! I don't even know what you are! Yeah. Knife is used up! What? Yeah, durability? I thought that thing- I thought that was for forever! Eh, grab this guy out of anger. Okay, uh, so we're defenseless now, for the most part. Because I don't think you can, uh, underwater bitch slap, so... Alright, damn, that's not good. Alright, so now this is gonna be a suicide mission to find that, uh... Thing. Oh! Here, take the fish! I don't want him! Uh... Hmm, where is that thing? Oh, nope. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen removed. <sighs> That doesn't seem to uh, bode well for us and our quest for this underwater volcano. So let's grab some more oxygen. Yeah, there we go. Delicious oxygen. Okay, let's dive back down and see what else we can find. I actually have no idea where that thing was. Probably should have had a beacon or whatever. That would probably have been smart to actually place one. Come to think of it. Hmm. Maybe down here? I don't know. As things are just like snapping at me. Hmm. How do you lose a volcano? That's what I want to know. Volcano. Where are you, volcano? I mean, look at this. This is just insane looking. You got these huge structures. And we're like maybe, what, two, three hundred feet below the surface? There's gonna be like these crazy things even deeper. It's gonna be insane to look at. Alright, so what is this? This is a stasis rifle. You know what? Let's actually just grab that. Maybe we can actually build one or something like that. Hmm. Alright, so basically what we gotta do is we gotta go around collecting underwater refrigerators to get, like, parts for stuff. Interesting. Oh, that looks like open water. Nope. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remain. Oh no! 30 seconds! Eh, eh, swim! Swim! No, you ain't taking me yet! Okay, there we go, good. Alright, you know what? I'm thinking, I'm just gonna go grab that, like, swimming device, because it is just too helpful. Instead of swimming around, I'd much rather risk losing it, instead of, uh, you know, all that stuff. Actually, no, we can maybe make a beacon, drop it on the ground, and before we go into the volcano, if we find it, and then come back to it. Perfect. Now, that sounds like a nice plan. Okay, so, I like how we can look down as we're swimming. It's pretty cool. See all the death that's below us. Oh, goody. Hmm. Oh, there's one of those rock things. Interesting. Alright, there's our base, and for some reason, I, I somewhat feel like it's moving, but it doesn't look to be. I don't know. Yes, good to see you, manatee. 
Okay, let's dive right in here and eh, there we go. Okay, so let's see how much it is for the whole, what's it called, beacon thingy. Deployables beacon. Really? That's all we need? Okay, I'll take that. Alright, so we need, there we go. T one titanium and one copper wire. Now we got a nice little beacon. Alright, cool. Maintains and broadcasts its position. We could actually make another one if we needed, but really don't have a use for that. What we could use, though, is a knife. I'm liking this music that's going on. Mm. Alright, we actually need a quartz. Then we should be good. Have a nice little weapon. Hmm. No, I think I saw one, like, right over here or something. Actually, no. Instead of, like, swimming around, let's actually go do the smart thing and grab the whole, uh, thing. I actually dropped out all the metal from there because, you know, this thing is... Look how big this thing is. It's huge. Grab that. There we go. Ah, there we go. Nice speed. Mmm. I like it. Okay, so now if I were quartz, where would I be? I think I actually passed some on the way over here. So we should be able to quickly find some. Oh, there we go. Wait, can we actually grab it while we're... You can. Alright, cool. So you can actually grab stuff while you're riding this thing. I like that. Alright, nice. And we're back within like three seconds. Perfect. Okay. Then let's go in here. Make the silicon rubber. There we go. And now go into personnel, tools, survival knife. And there we go. Now we have a nice weapon. Perfect. And in we go. Okay, so now we're gonna swim back over to this thing over here. And we can go and try and, uh, no, actually find this elusive volcano. I don't know how I can lose a volcano, but whatever. I believe it was like on the edge, like right around here or something. Or maybe it was over this way, I'm thinking. Like this is just another entire section of this biome or something? I don't know. But I like how the water over here turns green. It's really cool. And scary at the same time, but cool nonetheless. Hmm. Hmm, not seeing anything so far. And this 3D me- Ooh! Underwater refrigerator. Stasis rifle. Grab. Okay. I wonder if you actually need to like, combine them, or it's... like Actually, let's check that right now. Hmm. A piece of a stasis rifle. No, I think you actually need to, like, research it in, like, a research lab or something. I don't know. Mmm. Delicious bubbles. Alright, I think it's over here or something. I don't know. How do, how do you lose a volcano? It's insane. Wait, it might be over here. Because I remember cutting down that piece of thing over here. Yeah, I remember cutting that down. So I think it's over here. I don't know. Hmm. I'm about like three seconds from giving up on this thing. Hmm. Wait, on the on the 3D map it shows there's like a huge dip like right here, meaning this might be where the volcano is. It's just, we need to find a cave to get to it. Oh god, that's not good. No, no, no! Oh, okay. Oh, that was close. Note to self. Le re remember that you need to breathe. Oh, okay, that was close. Alright, maybe it's down here in this crevasse or something? Eh, quartz, quartz. I'm guessing this is where those little guys would come in handy. Like, move this rock or something? I don't know. Hmm. A little more quartz. Grab that. Alright, let's check the uh, little 3D thing. Maybe there's something on it that can help us out, but not seeing anything. I don't know. Ooh, underwater refrigerator. What are you? Stasis rifle. Alright, I'll take that. You know what? I'm thinking this volcano is a lost cause. We'll go and find some sort of other thing and oh god oh okay no nope, don't want any of that all right good he actually uh didn't hurt me with that good let's grab that quartz 
But I, I can't get over how big this, like, what's it called? Coral thing is. It's just nuts. Wait, what was in here again? Oh, it's a little cave thingy. Not much of a importance in there. Okay. So I'm guessing there's another thing I do want to check out. I was looking through the uh, little crafting thing. Here we go. There we go. It was deployables, this grav sphere. We need two titanium, a copper wire, and a battery. I do want to test that out because that's actually uh, pretty cool. So we need two shrooms and should be good on that. So now hopefully we don't need any more. No, we need one copper ore, so we can need to go find ourselves some copper and all that. But first, I say we go to our little uh, box here and dump out uh, these parts. There we go. So now if we die, we don't lose all this like possible research or something. We got the beacon, so if we find a nice cool area, we're good to go. Alright, nice. Oh, lag. Ah, I'm guessing it's just generating in this area. Alright, there's one titanium. And, oh yeah, we need two shrooms. One, two, there we go. Anything in there? Nope. But there is something here. Alright, got the one copper we need. There we go. And we need one more titanium. Hmm, where are we going to find that? Probably down here. Ooh, underwater refrigerator. Hello. Ooh, a Seamoth fragment. I'll, I'll take that over a stasis rifle any day. I'm guessing, like, they're biome-specific what refrigerators you get. Hmm. Have to test that out. Just keep breaking these, because while we're in the area, I guess. Actually, no. Let's look a little bit more for a refrigerator real quick. Well, I'm not really seeing any uh, in the general area, so... Whatever, let's just head back, maybe grab a fish or two. While we're out here. I like how I can actually grab them with the... Uh... Oh! This thing's out of battery? Wait, this thing has battery power? They didn't tell me this in the academy. Okay. So we gotta grab some of that. Yeah, I know I, I gotta get some calories, but... Got some more important things to take care of. I need batteries. Alright, so as it generates this new area over here, let's just grab one of these fish. Eh, there we go. Got a Larry. Let's grab another one. Make it back here, you. Eh, there we go. And one more just for good measure. Eh. Okay, ooh, and an underwater refrigerator. Perfect. And that's probably a sea moth, right? Yes. Alright, good. Emergency. Anything in there? No. Nope. Oh, remain. probably should get some oxygen. That'd be pretty smart. Eh. Alright, now let's just swim our way back over there, take care of our needs, because unfortunately we're human and need actually food and all that. We have yet to become a robot. But yeah, so let's go quickly take care of that, and then we can build uh, two batteries, actually. So I should probably grab a few more shrooms. One, two, there we go. Because we need to re uh, actually exchange the battery in this. I don't know if you can, like, you pop out the battery and you have to recharge it, or you need a whole new one. I don't know. Hopefully they're on sale and then we have a whole bunch, so there you go. Two for one deal. Yes. Alright, so. We gotta go in here, and... I believe it is... Battery. Alright. One battery. There we go. And battery. Perfect. Alright, so we got the two batteries, and we can make the grass sphere. Perfect. Alright, cool. We actually accomplished everything we, we needed, except for the food. We should probably be taken care of right now. And more food. And more food. And let's actually maybe cook up that, uh, what's it called? Ho hoop fish or whatever. And, no, not the air sack. We want to turn that into water. There we go. Alright, let's take care of our needs, because we have a whole bunch of food and everything. There we go. Okay, we're now 100% okay. Well, for the most part. Alright, now this, let's actually exchange the battery. Alright, so you don't get a battery from it, so you do. You just put a battery in it, it eats the battery, and then, there you go. Alright, so now this thing should be good for a while, so note to self. I almost went, like, hardcore exploring with that thing, and then, what do you know, you run out of battery, like, all the way down. Then you drown. End of story. Alright, so, where would a nice spot for this doohickey go? I'm thinking maybe in this open water? Or something? Hmm. 
How does this thing work? Maybe if I nudge it? Ooh, it's like a beach ball or something. Eh. Oh, cool. I like that. Let's actually pick that up. Maybe we can go and uh, put this where fish are, because I think that's what this thing does. It actually like attracts fish to it, so you can catch them easier, even though I don't really have a problem now, but, you know, laziness, the mother of invention. Eh. Hmm. Not seeing any fish going to it, so let's scare some to it. Quick, go there for science. Oh, there we go. It's grabbing something. There's one fish. Hmm. Guessing now we can just quickly go over and grab him. Oh, cool. Alright, so basically I can come back here after a while. This guy will have a whole bunch of fish all nice and ready for me. And then we can have a whole bunch of fish and not have to worry about spending, like, precious seconds trying to catch some more. Alright, cool. I mean, I think I could put this in a better spot, to be completely honest. Hmm, where would a nice spot for fish be? Because, I mean, technically we exhausted all of them here. So I'm thinking maybe out over here or something? Right about here seems about nice. Uh, eh. There we go. Seems about appropriate. All right, cool. All right, let's actually uh, go over here and grab some more stuff for lube and such, because let's see what else we can actually make. Warning, 30 seconds eh. of oxygen. There we go, and we grab it. Eh. All right, cool. Now let's actually cut some of this, just because. Get some nice vine, because I remember we could make something out of that, but I ended up eating it, apparently. There we go, more than enough. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright, now race against the clock for the surface. And, and okay, there we go. Alright, let's go down there, grab all that limestone, and maybe we can see what else we can actually make. Then I want to see what this whole, like, sea moth fragment thing is, because if we can make a sea moth, that would be perfect, because you actually have unlimited oxygen while you're in that. And all that cool stuff. Alright, there we go. Hmm. Ooh, wait, I see an underwater refrigerator. Perfect. Let's actually go grab that real quick. This might be either Seamoth or Stasis Rifle. Or Lag. Ah. Ah, perfect. Seamoth. I don't know how many we need, but... <gasps> wait! We found the volcano! Yes! By Thank you, Sea Refrigerator. Alright. That looks deadly, but... Hmm. Alright, let's just zoom past it. Ooh, that's a bubble of lava. That doesn't seem friendly. But, there are a whole bunch of these things here. I'll take that. Oh, wow, there's a lot in here. Look at this. It's like a huge cave. There we go. Oh, God, it's actually dark. Yeah, I do not want to play with that. Alright, we have 30 seconds of oxygen. Here's my oh, okay. Never mind. Well, what? Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to just sum up what just happened right there. My logic was we were going to ride the, uh, the, you know, force of the thing all the way up to the, uh, you know, what's it called, sky and get some oxygen and be cool about it. But no, it vaporized us within seconds and apparently also shot us up which with so much force that when we shot up and spawned at the same time, because there's like no delay, just popped up in this and shot this thing into the... Oh my god, shot it into the air. We actually need to like relocate base now because everything moved. Alright, so we gotta... Oh, you can actually climb this? Oh, cool. Hmm, so I can't actually pick this up, sadly. Oh, nope, apparently I can. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Let's pick this up as well. Nope, inventory full. Alright, so let's bring this to our new home base, I guess. Wow. Alright, so we're a little bit over the green biome, I guess. Let's just deploy that. There we go. Let's swim back over here, grab our little box, because that'd be horrible to leave that behind. That has all of our little thingamabobbers in it. But first, let me put all the... Where is it? Oh no, we lost the... Oh, we lost the refrigerators. Damn. Alright, well, whatever. Let's grab all my metal. I can't grab the metal. Oh, but I can nudge it. Eh. No, that'd take way too long. 
All right, so let's just bring this over here, and I think where I'll drop it is... I'll drop it about here. There we go. That seems like a nice spot. Like, right up here, right near it. And let's drop the metal. And there we go. So, I like, wow. What we got done is we got a whole bunch of cool stuff. We got the Grive Sphere, found the volcano, and we actually relocated base, apparently. So, yeah, I think right here is actually a pretty good spot to end it for now. Next time, we'll enjoy more of the sunset and maybe work more towards those underwater refrigerators and see about getting a sea moth somehow or something. I don't know. So, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.